To give us an update on the status of neglected tropical diseases in Africa is Dr. Peter Hotez, president of the Sabine Vaccine Institute and the American Society of Tropical Medicine. Dr. Hotez, join us from the phone from Texas. Dr. Hotez, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you for having me. In sub-Saharan Africa, what would you say are some of the most prevalent neglected tropical diseases? So we recently have done a landscaping exercise where we looked at the most common neglected tropical diseases diseases in sub-Saharan Africa. And it turns out that in addition to malaria, which everyone knows is extremely common, there are others that are not nearly as well known. We call them the neglected tropical diseases. An example is the disease schistosomiasis. It's a parasitic blood fluke infection which affects an estimated 400 million people uh, throughout sub-Saharan Africa. So this is one of the stealth reasons why the poorest people in Africa can't escape poverty because of its impact on uh, anemia, its impact on child growth and development, and as I'll talk about in a minute, its impact on uh, female reproductive health. Another example is hookworm infection, which affects 200 million people in sub-Saharan Africa. Extraordinary numbers if you think about it. When you look at the continent of, of Africa, about half a, a billion people live below the poverty line, and almost all of them are infected with one or more of these neglected tropical diseases. Almost, almost all of them are infected with either hookworm or schistosomiasis or both. Now it seems uh, that these diseases are definitely related to poverty. Now in terms of taking care of them treatment wise, uh, what is available for this population? Well, what's uh, happened is an organization has been established called the Global Network for Neglected Tropical Diseases uh, that works in partnership with the World Health Organization and AFRO, which is the African Regional Office of the World Health Organization, to provide what's called mass drug administration. That is treating large populations uh, with medicines to uh, at least temporarily uh, get rid of the worms. And uh, so that these are very simple to use once a year treatments that could be given together in a package called the Rapid Impact Package. And together, this Rapid Impact Package is actually eliminating selected and neglected tropical diseases as public health problems. So it's eliminating lymphatic filariasis, it's eliminating trachoma, it's eliminating uh, river blindness. So this is fabulous. And, and, the, and for the other, even more common ones, such as hookworm and schistosomiasis, it's reducing the prevalence, although they come back. And, and that's the reason why, ultimately, we need to develop a new generation of neglected tropical disease vaccines, and, and that's one of the things that we're doing. In 10 seconds, Dr. Hotez, can we hope for an eradication of, all, of any of these diseases? Well, we're looking at the eradication of guinea worm, and we're looking at the elimination of lymphatic filariasis and river blindness, uh, and, uh, and then if we develop these new vaccines, we can look at elimination of the others as well. So there's, these are devastating diseases, incredibly common, but we have a lot of reason for optimism also. Okay, Dr. Otez, thank you so much for joining us today. And we thank uh, Dr. Peter Otez, uh, who is with the pre he's the president of the Sabine Vaccine Institute. Vincent? Well, yeah, and we thank you very much, Lino, for sure. being here today. And uh, remember to watch uh, for Lino Mudu's reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on In Focus.